What up, that's Numb Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. Hey, your girl, Mel. Yes, yes, yes. And we are back with another video. Back with another video. All right, guys. So, babe, today what we got? All right, babe, today we'll be reacting to Arrested by Kamala, Whoa. a black mother's story. What? A black mother's story. Wait a minute. Uh oh So, Kamala arrested a black mother. She arrested her or she got her arrested? Arrested by Kamala. Okay, I so guys, know. I'm going to go ahead and dive into I'm this. interested. <laughs> but first, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also, get inside the comment section. Turn on all notifications. Here we go. Let's go. Good energy. Good content. Bam. Here we go. Let's see what we got. I intend to fight for Black Lives Matters. I intend to fight. If Black Lives Matter to her, why didn't I matter? I don't I don't agree what my Kamala Harris did to my mom. And I don't I don't agree with what she's done to other parents as well. My message to all Americans, especially black Americans, do not trust Kamala Harris. I'm so proud Whoa. of you right now. Wait a Whoa. minute. Nelly. Do you see this girl? Is something something is wrong? It looks like she's paralyzed. Like, we need to or get has cerebral. I don't know what's wrong, but this girl has a health condition, clearly. And she's saying, I don't agree with Kamala, with what Kamala did to my mom. Do not trust Kamala Harris. Wow. Whoa. Here we go, guys. This is deep. Because you walked all the way down here, and I wasn't expecting you to walk. My daughter, Shayla, suffers from sickle cell anemia, a chronic painful genetic disease. Wow. As a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. It's, it's a very sharp stabbing pain and it hurts a whole lot. Like from my chest all the way down, it hurts, including my side. So I decided I was gonna start prosecuting parents for truancy. When Kamala Harris was the California Attorney General, she had me arrested wow. and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and had missed some days of school. <laughs> Get the f I spent a wow. majority of my time here at the hospital. Ugh. Kamala's wow. horrible policies hurt mothers like me and the black community. My name is Sheree Peoples and this is my story. I am a single mother. I've worked as a certified nursing assistant and a caregiver. My daughter Shayla was born in 2002. When she was born, she was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. And it affects all major organs in the body and also causes extreme pain. Her whole life, she has been on medications like morphine and Dilaudid to help her control the pain. In addition, she had to undergo blood transfusions every three weeks. Wow. My lifestyle became taking care of her almost full time. It is pretty typical for kids with Shayla disability to miss a lot of school. I just got out of school. I've done three full days this week. Oh, I'm so tired. And for years, the teachers were aware of her condition and her absences were all excused. California schools get their state and federal funding based off of average daily attendance. Schools are paid about $30 per student per day. In San Francisco, we threaten the parents of truants with prosecution. I first heard of Kamala Harris when she got elected California Attorney General. We are putting parents on notice. We are going to make sure that you face the full force and consequences of the law. She wrote a report saying truancy was costing California schools $1.4 a year in funding. Because of truancy, California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> Kamala then wrote a law making it criminal for parents if their kids miss school time. Kamala even wrote a book called 
Smart on Crime. You yeah. can read an excerpt from the book that she just plugged shamelessly. <laughs> it's called Smart on Crime. Talking about arresting parents for truancy. I sent a letter on, on my letterhead out to every parent in the public school system. In 2012, like all okay. California parents, I received a threatening letter from Kamala Harris saying, we'll go to jail for a year if our kids even miss 10% of school days. It was like a crazy intimidation what? tactic. I'm going to start prosecuting parents for children's day. I thought, wow, this woman doesn't have any empathy. Is it because she's not a mother? I also wow. thought, how could she not understand it would disproportionately affect people of color, single black mothers? Wow. But honestly, I didn't imagine it could affect me. Her teachers had her medical records from the children's hospital. I even had a 504 plan, which was an agreement between the school district and the parents to provide care for students with disabilities. It was April 18th, 2013, in the morning. I'm in my pajamas. I had just fed my daughter, gave her her medications, sent her off to school. Little did I know, there was a warrant out for my arrest. Wow. All of a sudden, the police is outside my house and they started banging on the door. I opened wow. up my door and two officers entered my home. They told me I was under arrest for my child missing school. They said I was going to jail. I was shocked. I said, but my baby is sick. The school knows that. And they said, go talk to Kamala Harris. Place your hands behind your back. My mom did nothing wrong. We did everything we were supposed to. I was always bringing doctor's notes, always calling the school to let them know that I was in the hospital. Then they handcuffed me. So they take me outside for what you call a perp walk. And oh my God, the TV news was there. The newspapers were there. You could swear I had killed somebody. It was degrading and humiliating. I was taken to the criminal justice center. They took my mud shot. I was fingerprinted like a criminal, and I was terrified. What? And it felt like I caused her so much pain because in reality, it is because of me, even though I know it's not directly my fault. Sorry. The next day, the Orange County Registered showed the pictures of my arrest. They even had a close-up picture of my hands in handcuffs wow. to show here's a black mother being arrested. It's a truancy wow. rate at over oh. two and a half times that of white students. Everyone knew most truant kids were black. I think Kamala Harris wanted me as an example to threaten other single black mothers like this can happen to you if you don't get your kids in class. The police even put out a press release naming me and other black single mothers like Toyo Daniels who got arrested the same day. But my hell was just beginning. They gave me two charges. Failure to supervise and encourage school attendance and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. I couldn't believe it. They framed my daughter as a gang member and basically charged me with neglect. I spent the next two years in court fighting these charges. Kamala assigned her nastiest prosecutors to my case. My homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. <laughs> like 10 different prosecutors. They kept pressuring me to plead guilty wow. and spend a year in jail, but I kept refusing because I did nothing wrong. Nothing All the time wrong. I had to spend going to court, I was struggling to care for my shale. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent, and we got evicted. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel and I ended up being in the hospital a lot during her trial. And in that hospital stay was when I had my stroke. I had a stroke about four or five days ago. And right now I'm doing pretty good. My hand is doing okay, I guess. In 2015, after two years, they finally just gave up and dismissed my case. 
In 2018, the Supreme Court of California ruled that truancy cannot be punished by incarceration. It was unconstitutional. The courts finally stopped Kamala Harris' abuses. When I look back, I ask why did Kamala Harris arrest me? Why was Kamala Harris so insensitive to a black woman with a handicapped child? Well, first, I learned that Kamala Harris has no common experience with black people. She grew up with an Indian mother. I remember she kept saying she was Indian. To become the first uh, Indian senator in U.S. history, which would be quite an accomplishment. Not good. <laughs> What we're going to cook today okay. is an Indian recipe. Yes. Because yes. you are Indian. Yes. yes. And I learned she grew up in Canada, not in the United States, and went to a wealthy high school. I think in Canada, she must not have been exposed to American values, which respects the rights of individuals. When Kamala Harris ran for president in 2019, they asked her about arresting people like me, and she just lied her ass off. The truancy program got a lot of criticism, too. Did you actually yeah. lock anybody up? No, we never locked anybody up. We never sent a parent to jail, and no parent went to jail. And we did prosecute some cases, uh, but far few, only about 20. It's ironic because Kamala helped raise money to bail out murderers, rioters, and thieves. But she thought I belonged in jail because I had a handicapped child. To me, Kamala is fake. She just repeats stupid things like unburdened. What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? I found out she only became attorney general because she was a mistress to the married wow. San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown. Are you his daughter? No, I'm not. And today I see she tries appealing to black audiences by putting on fake urban accents. And we're going to do it again in 2024. Black people are very down to earth. This is insulting to us. Yes, you better yes. thank wow. a union member for vacation time. Kamala, how stupid do you think we are? And I saw Kamala's Twitter photo. That's from like 20 years ago. She's 60 years old today. Even with the heavy makeup, you can see she's 60. I seen her pretending to be talking on the phone, avoiding the press. She's a terrible actress. She was calling young people stupid. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. With Kamala, we can't even say Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? The laugh is so insincere. What? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> we have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, I am radical. All this woke and radical stuff doesn't do anything for me as a single black mother. All it got me was inflation that hurt me and my kids. Grocery store prices are crazy. I can't pay for food on my income. I am in favor of saying that we're not gonna treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. Black people has been in America for 400 years, yes, but Kamala yeah. pushes us to the back of the line behind illegals. Why? As borders are. She just filling up our schools with kids who don't speak English just so they can get more government money. Illegals get free health care, but I have to pay. They get free housing, and I'm struggling to pay rent. Our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit a crime. <laughs> and it's more dangerous in our neighborhood. We don't need Venezuelan gangs. To this day, at 22 years old, I suffer from full paralysis on my right arm and partial in my right leg. Kamala Harris owes me an apology and my daughter an apology for what she did to us. Let's be clear, my values have not changed. Look, I am not a political person, but I want people to know what Kamala Harris has did to me. If she do it to me, she will abuse anyone if you give her the power. Wow. That says it all. If P. Diddy is about to be slammed with more than a- If that do not change the perspective of
Kamala Harris. Um, it, it, this is this is. Uh, I just don't understand how could she put a single mother in jail with a handicapped child. Clearly, this child had documentation that she was sick. Clearly. Clearly, the school knew about it. And clearly, the police knew that they were doing something wrong because they were like, look, take it up with Kamala. Wow. <laughs> and, it, and the simple fact that she was pushing it. Right. She was They're like, pushing it. ain't it. our fault, lady. We're just here to do our job. Take it up with Kamala. Like, if your child don't go to school, I don't get paid. So I'm going to arrest you to make an example. She says she wants that money. We need the money over here. And it's, it's really sad to see all this family has gone through. This poor mom and her child. The mom lost everything. Mm, Had to mm, be mm, humiliated. Walk, wow. You know, walk through the neighborhood with, with handcuffs on. on. In the paper, the news were, you know, they were out there recording this poor woman. Wow. And how can she say that our children between 18 and 24 are stupid and she have no children. How could you say that? This is not looking too good for Kamala, like seriously. And then she got on the breakfast club and lied. And, and lied. Said she never, prosec had, she prosecuted, but no one has ever been arrested. That's a due lie. Due to, you know, missing school. That's a lie. And we know. We just seen the we proof. We just saw the proof. That that single mom was arrested. That was just, not fair. Just for being a good mom. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, what did she want? The little girl to go to school, school and have the sick? stroke? Like, what do you want? She can't make, she's in this pain. This girl she's is crying. on morphine. How can you How learn? How can she sit in a chair on morphine? In pain. How can she, you know, learn in this type of pain? Like, morphine is one of the strongest drugs. Like, really. What do you, what do you want from this woman? What type of demonic crap is that? And this is who is running for president? Wow. This is who we want to lead our country? And it seemed like she's just not true. And every time I try to give this woman the benefit of the doubt, it's like more and more and more piled up on more evidence that shows she is not for the people. Like what has she done for the people? Like really? All I hear is about she putting people in jail, she letting people come over, um, she's putting now, single moms in jail. There Two are other. criminals. There are people who deserve to be in jail. Exactly. That's but what it's not a for. single mom who is rendering care to her child. A child who has sickle cell anemia. And who then has had a stroke. That led to her losing a job, being evicted, going into a shelter. Inflation, she was living in a motel she cannot with this food. baby, with this her with her daughter, and the daughter had a stroke. Wow. Paralyzed on her right side. This is some. What old school do you want her to go to, crap. Kamala? So, it's like, um, mm, I don't like that, Kamala. I don't like that at all. That's very disheartening. Yeah. And it's sad. It's really sad to see that. And it's like, like her, it's like something is going to her head. Like she's getting big head. Like she's just getting being cocky and just doing all these type of things. And it's not serving the USA citizens. It's not. It's not doing anything for us. I guess we better thank a union member. Wow. That is so, like, Woo. disrespectful. I can't wait to read these comments, guys. Please, please, to guys. To think that black people are this stupid. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. And letting the people come over, they getting the proper aid. They getting housing. You know what I'm saying? They getting into the schools so they can get the money. Now I see how, how it goes. It's a game. It's a money game. Like, Power seriously. Game. 
And um, I saw someone getting two dollars worth of gas at the gas station. Two dollars. I mean, it's 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 rough it's out really here. It's bad tough. Out here. For a single mom. And she's worried you know what about saying? locking someone up who didn't want to send their sick and child. And pushing it hard. She was pushing. Goodness. Pushing it hard. And now, well, um, she's Indian. Well, wow. she's always been Indian. Now she's black all of a sudden. Now she's black. <laughs> like what like what is it? <laughs> you know, like this is a this is a mess. It's a mess. Um, I don't think that she should be our president, you know, straight up and down. That's just I my mean, opinion. This, it's really sad. I don't think that she should run all of our it is country. sad. Um, she just was caught in a couple lies we just seen. So if she can lie about that, she'll lie about anything. Plain and simple. Guys, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section, guys. I can't wait to read the comments. Yes. What do you guys think? Because Let us this know. is this is really touchy right here. You know, a mom had to go through this for like two years, back and forth to court, lost her house, you know, child was still sick, living in a hotel. It, it, it's, it's terrible. Chronically sick. Yes. Right? This ain't yes. no calm and cold. This right. is something that is a chronic condition. Chronic illness. Like, you know, we don't even want to send our kids to school if they, you know, got a, got a cold and they coughing and mucus or whatever. You know, we want to let them stay home so, you know, Most they can be healed or whatever. And then send them back to school. Yeah. With a note. Documentation saying that, okay, whatever, whatever. Um, it's not right. It's not fair. It's it not isn't. Fair. It it's isn't not fair. at all. It's not fair. Um, that right guys, there just put a bad know. taste in my mouth. Let us know what you think about mind. this video. Yep. Let us know how you feel about this situation. Um, we let digging us know into all topics, section. guys. We definitely going to dig into some of these topics and speak about it because, mm -hmm. you know, this is our life. Yes. This is our and country. And we have a huge decision to make in November. Yep. We are very close. I think we're like, like four weeks away. Like 30 days. Yes. Yeah, Less so. than 30 days. Um, November the 5th. So guys, let's go ahead and see what happened. Um, put your votes in. Um, definitely do your research. Videos like this shines light on the real picture. Most you know definitely. Saying? Most definitely. So, yeah. we. I mean, we we want to know. We want to know who's yes. going to be the president. And we want to know. We yes. definitely want to know. Most definitely. That's our time, guys. We signing off. It's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Love. Girl, no. Come to the end. That's what I'm talking about. We about to eat, guys. All right, guys. Be safe. Peace. Peace.